Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about another pathogen, pestilence. Pestilence, from the definition, it refers to pathogens with strong infectious abilities, similar with similar manifestations and severe conditions. So this qi, this pathogen. Pestilence is different from the six exogenous pathogen. The six exogenous pathogen we mentioned in previous video: the wind, the coldness, the dampness, and uh, the dryness, the fire, also some heat. See when we when we study each of them, when we discuss each of each of them. Each of the, each of them, they got specific characteristics. That's why we can conclude these pathogens. We don't see the pathogens, but we can see from these characteristics which belongs to specific pathogen that we know that the patient is attacked by specific pathogen. So each of them has specific characteristics. But for this pestilence, pestilence is actually a group of pathogens. It's not one, but a group of pathogens. But this group of path of pathogens have a similar characteristics. That's why we put them in one category. Li qi or pest pestilence qi qi also have another have many actually many names in Chinese. Wen yi at the bottom, if you see Wen yi, it also refers to pestilence qi, or if you see yi li. We take this word e and this word. If we take together e li, or even they take with e qi. So these names are also refers to pestilence qi. Pestilence qi is actually theories was developed in Qing Dynasty. So in Qing Dynasty is a was about 300 years ago. Qin Dynasty was from one, 1616 to the, the year of 1616 to 1912. So 1616 to 1912. So this is the year about roughly more than 300 years ago, three to 400 years. This theories was developed from there, but this theories, all this diseases not only happens 400 years ago. When we study the history, we will know that we have learned that there's one quarantine hospital in Qin Dynasty. Which was 221 to 207 BC, so about 2000 to 2200 years ago in Qin Dynasty. We said that there, there was the records of quarantine hospital for the leprosy. So for leprosy, at that time, we knew this kind of disease, the human, human transmission. You can infect others, so that's why they have quarantines or isolation hospitals. And this kind of diseases, not only leprosy, even the other diseases such as smallpox, and there are many other diseases have similar characteristics, or even the malaria. So. 
there's a kind of a quarantine structure in medical system has lasted from the from the records we knew the latest it was established in Qin Dynasty 2200 years ago and then until recent years in Qin Dynasty which was three to four hundred years ago we still have the quarantine clinics or quarantine rooms for smallpox so these are all from the historic of the from the historical records we can see this 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 kind of diseases were not a new disease we knew the there's something different from the six exogenous pathogens but the theories established in Qin Dynasty when I said established it doesn't mean that Chinese medicine didn't treat this kind of disease before but it refers to this in Qin Dynasty the theories of pestilence qi and li all the treatments the characteristics the treatments the doctors at in Qin Dynasty they identifies clearly that pestilence qi and the six exogenous qi were different they have very different characteristics the treatments should not be the same and also the the causes were also different so they record clearly they don't mix them that's why he says this 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 theories were developed or established in Qin Dynasty and as you can see from the definition it refers to pathogens with a strong infectious ability similar mani manifestations and severe condition so from the definition you will see that this kinds of qi pathogen qi it doesn't refer to any kinds of pathogen it also can refer to all kinds of pathogens as long as they have the characteristics of strong infectious ability similar manifestation severe conditions such as the leprosy we don't see a lot now smallpox we also don't see of we, we don't see a lot now but you see now the hiv the aids the malaria in african countries Ebola. Even now, currently, we are experiencing the COVID-19. You see, all these kinds of diseases, they they are human transmission. They can infect one to the other easily. They have all the patients, all the patients have similar manifestations. And some of them can develop into severe conditions so you can see these diseases in chinese medicine belong to pestilence when after we study all the theories and diagnostics when we study the, the treatments the therapeutic treatments then we will have a topic on the covid 19 how Chinese medicine treat the COVID-19. COVID-19 is a very new disease for, for us, for, for everyone in the world. And it happens in this late December, January 2020 this year. And uh, in China, we also don't know what's that, what was it, but the patient would, would apply Chinese herbal medicine treatments more than 90% of the patients were healed by Chinese herbal medicine but how can we treat something we don't know we don't even know COVID-19 what coronavirus 
then how can we treat them? That's because we have the theories of pestilent qi. And from the example here, this is a very close example that happens now now. You will see that these theories we can apply into practice. The only way to exam examine the truth is practical. So you can see from the example now that this theories work very well. And this theories in Qin Dynasty, so we don't discuss from very early in Qin Dynasty because when pestilent Qi was separated from the other pathogens such as the six exogenous pathogens, we don't put the pestilent Qi in that group of exogenous pathogens or we put them put in that group of six exogenous pathogens. The it then it can it actually can imply that we, we know these two are not the same. So from here after Qin Dynasty, in these three to four hundred years, practitioners in China they gradually study on these kinds of diseases and they found the characteristics of this kinds of disease. So they found that this, this kind of disease they can happen if the climate in the abnormal climate. What does it mean by abnormal climate? For instance, in winter it's supposed to be cold, but if this winter is warm, we don't feel cold in winter. Or summer, it's supposed to be hot, but summer but this is summer it's colder than norm than no than other years and then in this condition we might suffer from pestilent qi we might suffer from pandemic diseases in these years or the years after the season after the winter or in the past after the war after the big war, sometimes they will have platinum diseases, pandemic. Or if some disaster, such as a flood, after floods, they will have some infectious diseases. So these are the, some of the causes or risks, factors of this kind of diseases. And in those books, it also tell us why this pestilent qi is different from the six exogenous pathogens. That's because this pestilent qi, each pestilent qi, pestilent qi refers to a group of different pathogens, but each of the pathogens have a group of symptoms if someone affects this pathogen all of them will experience similar symptoms that's something you can see from the diseases now the COVID-19 patient the symptoms are quite similar patients suffer from malaria patients suffer from HIV in infections when it develop when it developed into AIDS, then the symptoms are quite similar. Also, those kinds of diseases can change can transmit from one to the other. So from one person it was infected, it was infected, and then it can transfer to others. These can transfer to more. That's exactly what happens for COVID-19 nowadays. That's why we need to stay at home for the lockdown. We need to keep the social distance. That's how to break from here. That's also exactly 
what the quarantine hospital does. In some books in Qin Dynasty, when they talked about the Petit Dong Qi, he also said that the if you, you want to help others, for instance, now in COVID-19, we always give something for others who need the help. But there's one rule there. Patients who already infected, such as this gentleman, he should not give his clothes to others. He should not donate his clothes to others. Also, his neighbors should not accept any donations or especially for clothes from this gentleman. You see, that's something described in that books in Qin Dai in those books in Qin Dynasty. So actually in Qin Dynasty, the practitioners we they realize this how this disease was transmitted. That's why they knew how to stop them. And in, there's one practitioner called Wu Youke. He says the pestilent qi is a kind of different qi. They're different from the six exogenous pathogens. It's non wind, non coldness, non summer heat, non dampness. So from here, they actually realize this disease is something different. Although they don't know what exactly they are, nowadays we know that some viruses, but at that time they don't know, but they group them, all kinds of viruses, into here. They have similar manifestations. So the characteristics of this kind of pestilent qi, they have a sudden onset, severe conditions, similar manifestations, strong contagious abilities. These actually we can see from the diseases we are experiencing now, the COVID-19. The COVID-19 Patient may suffer from the may have the infection for a few days. That's why they quarantine everyone have the pos the possibility to be infected for two weeks because they can be infected for two weeks and then suddenly all of a sudden the patient experience different symptoms and some of the symptoms some of the patient can develop into severe condition immediately. So that's why the, they say that most of the case is mild and medium cases, but some of them are severe condition. And they develop, they don't develop in one or two months into severe condition. It's not like chronic diseases. It can develop in one or two days into a severe condition. Traditionally, in Chinese medical books, how we describe this kinds of diseases, it describes that the patient may be pass may the patient may pass away if they suffer from they they were attacked from the for the from the diseases in the morning they can pass away in the, in the evening or for some moderate pathogens, they can pass away in a few days. That's the sudden onset and severe condition. And also, whether or not the patient is going to suffer from these diseases depends on the pathogenic also depends on the body constitution. You see, when we discuss the etiology here, you mentioned quite a few times of the body, constitu body constitution 
Also in future, we also mentioned about the healthy qi or antipathogenic qi. It all refers to the same stuff that the, the qi protects ourselves, which is very important to determine whether or not to do the six. The third characteristic is that all patients we have all patients we have similar man manifestation. The symptoms of these patients are quite similar, such as the COVID-19 patient we have cough, we have coughing, we have fever. Some of them can develop into different symptoms, but they share common symptoms. The last characteristic is strong contagious abilities. So it's human transmission. It can transfer, it can infect others easily. And also from here, the pestilence is another characteristic is for, for this kind of qi is that different qi, different pestilence, different pathogens have different symptoms, have different manifestations. What does it mean here is this People suffer from COVID-19, people suffer from AIDS, uh, from AIDS or HIV infection, or someone suffer from Ebola, suffer, someone suffer from malaria. So as I said, so that all these diseases we in Chinese medicine and acupuncture, we consider as pestilence in this group, in this categories. But all these diseases, they have different manifestations. H HIV infections, they have different symptoms. Ebola have different symptoms. COVID-19 have different symptoms. So one diseases, one pathogen, we have, have a group of different symptoms, but this group of symptoms will not apply to the other Pathogen. That's why he says each pestilence has different symptoms, have different manifestations, but the same pestilence on different patients, they will have similar manifestations. So am, am I clear here? The pestilence, different pestilence, different pestilence has different symptoms, but the same pestilence, even on different patients, they will have similar manifestations. So the, this is also the characteristics of pestilence. The pestilence, also from the theories, we, we realize that it has uh, the nature of coldness or fire or summer heat. It depends on which kinds of pestilence. It can be either or it can be some of the, the combination, some of them. So we can't say pestilence is considered as coldness or considered as a fire or similar to the six exogenous pathogen because it depends on it, it depends on specific pestilence and it can be either and most of the pestilence can develop into severe conditions it can transmit to others easily that's also very important that Different pestilence has different organs preference. What does it mean here is different pestilence when they infect human body can go to different organs. It can affect different organs. Different pestilence can affect different organs, such as the COVID-19 or SARS in 2002. These two are more likely to attack the lung. 
So the, co the SARS virus or COVID-19, this kind of virus, is are more likely to attack the lung, so they prefer to attack the lung. But as you can see from the HIV, the AIDS, from the medical reports, they always said that AIDS attack our immune system. So you see these, when they attack the immune system, it doesn't only attack the lung, it can attack the other organs as well. So this also the characteristics of pestilent qi. It can attack different organs, different pestilent qi has different preference to different organs. That's also very important there is this kind of pestilent qi that it only trans transmits in the same group of, of people or the same group of life. What I mean here, it might not very accurate the saying, but if I explain, if you know what, that, what do I mean. The human transmission diseases will only transmit in human. They will never transmit from human to animals. So if someone suffer from COVID-19, this COVID-19 will never trans transmit from human to your dogs or to your cats. Although the dogs, they also, they also might have COVID-19, but they might transmit from, from there, not from human. And the pestilent qi, this kind of disease not only happens in human beings, in the crowds. In the crowds, they also can have this kind of diseases. But you see the crowds, or the chicken, the crowd, the disease is in the crowd, the in the cold, cold, we never transmit to the chicken, and the the diseases in the chicken we never transmit to to the pig. You see these examples, this this diseases we only transmit in the same group, but in the same group doesn't mean doesn't care about the race. That's why the COVID-19 can transmit in Asian, can transmit you into white, black, colors, doesn't matter which race you are, but as long as you are human, you're going to, you, you are going to be affected. So that's the characteristics of pestilent qi. The next question we're going to talk about is the factors that may affect pestilent qi. The first is the climatic factors. Climatic factors we have mentioned actually before. As I said, if the clim climate changes, the abnormal clim climate changes will affect the pestilent qi, such as drought or hot or very hot weather or floods or earthquakes or other disasters, these can cause the, or it can be the cause of the pestilent qi. Environmental factors. Environmental factors mainly refers to the hygiene. The hygiene from the water, from the air pollution, from the food, or improper diet. You can see some of the Pestilent qi, some of the virus, is from the from the transmits from the from the air. Some is from the food. So the sound from the food we eat, from our mouth, some from the nose. So it depends on which kinds of pestilent qi, the environmental factors will affect a lot, especially for the hygiene. That's also exactly why the pandemic will be worse in like lower developed countries or villages. That's also exactly why the WHO warned that African countries 
are facing very big risk of COVID-19 because many African countries and is not well developed or and many people live in still live in very bad hygiene situation that's the environmental factors will make the personal pestinum qi worse the improper solutions improper solutions this refers to how we're going to control them such as the example I said that if someone already diagnosed as the as diagnosed as the as positive of, of this diseases, they should not donate their clothes, their food, or their dishes to a healthy family, to their neighbors. As 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 neighbors, we also should not accept any donations, especially the clothes, dishes from a diseased family, because that will increase the chance of human transmission. That's the how to control, how to limit the pestilence. The social factors, the social factors and the environmental factors are quite similar but not exactly the same. The social factors refers to such as the policies or the wars. So in during the wars, if the country have the have if the country is experiencing wars and also people strike all the time, they fight all the time. In this condition, they are more likely to have pestilence. They are more likely to have pandemic. Or in some area, if very poor, they will also more likely have pandemic. These are actually related to the environmental factors. You see, the economic of the country, the hygiene of the of the, the people that are related. You can't imagine a very bad economic country. The people there have very good hygiene, very good very high standard of hygiene of the food, of the water. That's impossible. So these are actually related. So how to control the COVID nine? 19 the pestilence qi you need to see from these four aspects and the climatic climatic factors this one example this for covid 19 we saw one news it's actually it's actually a um, video the video was in just in june 2019 the half a year june the COVID-19 became pandemic in China in late December last 2019. There's one video in June 2019, which means it's five months before the outbreak of COVID-19 in China. It's in one meeting, there's one supervisor of the student submitting their doctorate dissertation. So in that meeting, there's a one supervisor says that we need to be careful about the climate this year in 2019. He says, and don't he use the, he used the five elements of theories to explain why we need to be careful about the, the climate changes in 2019. And the conclusion, he said that we might have an epidemic diseases at the end of this year or early next year, which means at the end of 2019 and 2020, which is the outbreak of COVID-19, which has been confirmed now. 
we see how this supervisor he can predict or he can forecast that we might have the pandemic five months earlier than the pandemic happened that's because from the climatic factors this year the climate the climate in China is abnormal. From the five elements as well, there there's a, there was abnormal changes in from the five elements theories. And also, when the pandemic happens in China, there's another professor in Beijing University of Chinese Medicine. He wrote one article. He analyzed the COVID-19 from the climate changes, and then he pre predicted that the COVID-19 should be under control latest in February or May, uh, so February or March, which has been confirmed now from from March. At the end of February from and March, COVID nineteen is uh, was under control in China, and now they even now it's April, and um, the school, the factory, they all going to start again after the first of uh, the the holiday after the first of May. So and you can see from these two examples. There's one professor also from Beijing, he, predict, he predicted that last year June, that there, be, there might be pandemic in China in, in five months later. And then another professor this year in January, he predicted that this pandemic will be under control in one, two months. How they can predict? All these different, all the di different uh, consequences that's from the climatic factors. So you can see from the pestilence, you can study these factors to prevent, to sort out from these four factors. So if you study climatic factors, you can you will know that we might have pandemic in a few months. Then you can prepare now to help to improve the the social hygiene, to improve the the support, which is very good in South Africa now. You see the government lock down the, the whole country urgently and efficiently. So in this in this condition, the peak of the pandemic will be postponed, and we we actually have this time. We have more time to prepare for our for the outbreak of this pandemic. That's from the climate, from the environmental factors and social factors to control or to help to reduce. Influence from pestilence. So this this is actually a very interesting topic, especially nowadays when we discuss the pandemic. We we when we experience the pandemic, and then we discuss the pestilence. So that's actually the very good example you can see from the society. Okay, we will stop here today. Thank you, guys.